Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today, let us talk about uh, certain arts. As a young graduate of building construction of building technology, civil engineer, you know, young civil engineers, those that are into construction, those intend to do construction, you know that first thing you go, you do in the sites, after you might have cleared your sites, you know, you write to your store. What follows is what? Setting out. And setting out simply means what? Replicating what is on paper on the ground. Or transferring what you have on paper on the ground. You know, after you might have gotten your bidding plan or the drawing for your clients, you go to the site, you set out, you know. And that's the, 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 the starting point of uh, building construction. So I want to teach us how you can be able to set out do this. You know, have methods, uh, different methods you can set out to do this. You can use real life machines, you know, to set out your building. But the common one we use to do here is what I'm going to teach you, which as a as a person, as somebody into, into building construction, is supposed to know. So I'm going to teach how you can use your builder's line, your square and builder's there to set out a, a building plan. Now, assuming that this is the this is the shape of uh, the shape of your client's uh, land. This is the shape of his land. Then this is the position of the gate. The gate is here. Then what you, all you have to ask to do from this fence, because the shape of the land determines the fence. It's just from here you can bring that. Um, uh, because already an architect, an architect have already done. Site they have laid the plan out on the on the on the drawing. So all you need to do just to you can ask me I'll show you what you need to measure from the boundary to the first point, just by that at the perimeter of the fence, how you the space between the buildings and the fence. So from there, assuming that for he says here 1.5, then here might be let's say 4.5, then here also 1.5. The meaning that you have to insert your first peg here. Yeah? This is your first peg. After inserting the peg, you have to drive nail on top of it. Then you come here. Your second peg this is the nail. Then you have to put your builder through. Put your builder through. Then go this direction. When you go this direction, you stand here. You have to stand here. Then your colleague will be the other side with the rope. So when you put your, your spear, and your spear will be in alignment. In this direction, in this one. So, for for the other one to be in alignment with the square, your colleague will not drive it, and you be the one directing him or her the direction to drive it, left or right, until it, it comes to a square. If it comes to a square, then you have to introduce another peg there, then drive it there. Then, for you to get the final peg being this one, you have to use uh, Pythagoras uh, uh, theory. The last method of uh, getting the area of, uh, uh, of a triangle, assuming that the one side is not given. Now, this is the diagonal of this. This is this. have this triangle. And from this triangle, now we have this. This is our length. Assuming, okay, let's assume that here is uh, 4 meters and here is 3 meters. Then this is our 4 meters. This is our 3 meters. Then I turn to by the door, I say that A, if you go to square root of, let's assume here is A, here is B, here is C. A is equal to square root of B squared plus what? Plus uh, C squared, which will give us B here is what? 4 squared plus 3 squared, and that is 15 plus 9. Then when you sum the two, that will give us 25. So, that will give us 25. Then it will give us a of 25 to give us that, meaning that here is what? 5. 5 meters. Then all you need to do is just put your tail. You have to go with two tails, like 5 meters, 5 meters tail. You have to put your tail here, drag it to this direction, put it here as you are going to this direction. Then you have gotten 5 meters, meaning which is this diagonal. Then at the point of intersection of 5 meters and 3 meters, will be assuming that they interpreted here. The point of interaction of five meters and three meters will be will be here. You start another peg here. 
then join your road. Put this gear back to all ages. You see that road. Perfect. as long as you did your calculation very well, and you follow, you did the accurate sum, if you put square in all of them, all of them will be square. So this is the simplest way you can be able to set up your building like that. And after you might have done this, after you might have done this in the set, say you have gotten the four pairs, then you this are now this is your building line. This is your building line. You know, you are the walls, the external walls of the building in the run. And after that, you are from the drawing. You have got this, you have gotten this. You have gotten this. So you need to you need to bring out your profile where you will transfer this point to before you can have able to start bringing out the dimensions in the, in the drawing. You can measure this one point two out diagonal 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 one point two one point two one point two. Then after that, this group again one point two just the same measurement one point two or can do like uh, one meter. Say one one meter, depending. Then you put another peg, put another peg, put another peg, put another peg. Then you join them with you. Like this. Now this is what you call the profile. You get this thing like this. So to go now. Then at ten thousand, you now be putting pegs. You say like at at one meter interval, you can be putting pegs. Just like that. Then after that, you now use your pro line on top of them, join them together. You know, I have seen how you have uh, read this set up before. You now use your pro line around on top of them. Then followed by transferring these points here to this point, to this point, to this point, transferring them to this pro line. Transfer them, transfer all of them. How do you transfer all of them? No, here yeah, now we're not using Eodolite or data station. You know, uh, yes, we're not using Eodolite or data station. We are just using a Vila Square method and rope. Now, your colleague can go to the other side. You stay this side. So you drag the rope and you drag the rope. No, you have already have an existing line here. You have an existing line here. All they have to do is to make sure that the, the rope is cutting the nail the, to the profile. You are so you make sure the rope cutting no fine, to lose under nail here, to lose under nail here. That's how you do it all around. And after that, now after you might have drawn, you now get your drawing. Assuming that from your drawing, that this is your pattern. And your pattern, the measurement is uh, this is six meters. When you are drawing, just from the first peg you have transferred to the profile, you measure six meters here. Then assuming you have your diamond, this is 2.4 meters, you just measure. And before that, after getting your bag, and that you have to consider is the, is the lock size. If, it's, if the dog used is a, a nine inches, which is two to five, you have to bring that two to five, which is a two to five. You have to bring that two to five first. This, this is the wall, lock wall, the wall. Then before you now go to your your dining, as you your dining is two point four meters, you bring that to two point four meters. And as after that, you also bring out your block wall from just like that. And after you might have done the right hand side, whatever you have got in here, you transfer it to the left hand side. Then, how you can be able to differentiate them after transferring whatever that is on the right hand side to the left hand side, you have to bend the nails, you bend the nails down. Then, you do the same thing on the left hand side. Whatever dimensions you have on the drawing on the left hand side, you do the same, then transfer them to the right hand side and bend them down. While you are doing yourself, when you bring, if you want to bring out the trenches, it cannot enable you to know which is which. You do the same thing on the front, transfer to the back, repeat what is on the back, then transfer to the front. You start your excavation, that's all. You start your excavation. You can see that after the end of the day, exactly what you have on the drawing is what you have on the ground. You start your excavation, depending if it's a, a, a maybe a, Thirty building the room that then that determines the depth of the foundation. Just as you do your blinding and you continue your work. You have the same profile as well. This same profile will still be in place. 
is what you use to form who you are forming. The middle following sometimes you normally bring out the external words. You can use that loop to bring that this work. Use the loop with a, with a long, long split level, long. Bring out these external words. These ones. Bring them out inside the foundation. Put rope here. Put rope here. Then put your block in the branch. Put your block. Use the long branch in the rope. You form the block. You go, you go to the other end and do the same thing. Then do the same thing. Do the same thing. Now put your spear to ensure. You have to put your spear to ensure that it is a spear. You do the same thing here. Then use the rope and form it. And after that, the, the, the inner walls can now use the tape. To bring them out according to the dimensions you have uh, in the drawing. So this is a simple way you can be able to do what such a doing with us. If you have any question, go to the comment section, ask the questions, you share, you subscribe, you like our page. Thank you. See you in our next class.